It all started in July when the super funds came up with an indicative, non-binding, conditional proposal for Sydney Airport at $8.25. But that flight was promptly cancelled by directors. In August, they said $8.45. A month later, they said, how about $8.75? But it was still conditional and non-binding. Directors said, OK, you can have a look at the books. But now it's binding. And Sydney Airport directors have brought down the gavel on this auction of one bidder and said, sold. And now it's up to shareholders and the ACCC and the FIRB because the bidders own other airports and some are foreign. Today's other takeovers are more grounded. Car dealer Peter Warren is paying $104 million for Melbourne's family-owned Penfold Motors. And Stanmore Coal is paying $1.2 billion for two coking coal mines from BHP. Now that's almost six times Stanmore's value. So the hard hat will be passed around among shareholders for more money. But going by that 14% rise in the share price today, they won't mind. And ANZ Macquarie went ex-dividend. Commodities mostly rose quite strongly, apart from iron ore. Small moves on global markets, both up and down. And the Australian dollar is down a bit at 74 US cents. Data on skilled job vacancies came out today from the National Skills Commission. They're at a 13-year high of 250,882. And finally, fixed mortgage rates are on the rise, as I've been saying, and this graph suggests they could go up vertically from here. Better hold your breath, it's starting to tick. Nearly half of all new mortgages are fixed, so things could get tense in two or three years' time when they have to be refinanced. And that's finance. Thanks for watching. You can check out more finance news by clicking there. And don't forget to click subscribe down there to get all the latest updates from ABC News.